I'm Tyson at Adventure Rig. Right now we're in the garage of the Adventure Rig and we're doing a full video review on this trailer tie down system right here. This is made by Pitbull and it's their strapless motorcycle tie down. Now it's being used on a 2007 KTM 990 Adventure. Now if you guys would like to watch a video on how this system actually works, you can click right over here and if you would like to watch a video on how you actually install them in the process, just click right over here. So going into the actual review of what we think of these, um, they are an outstanding product that I'm absolutely thrilled that we purchased. And you can see uh, we've got the one bike here, but we actually have three additional plates in the floor because we pull three more bikes in here. This is a seven by 14 foot space. Uh, so we're putting four bikes in there with about another four feet behind the one that sticks out that way the furthest. So we really have used the space very well with these tie downs. The first thing I'd like to talk about is once you get the bike tied down, uh, how secure is it? Well, it's very secure. It's not coming out. But what it does do, it does rock just a little bit. Now on this adventure bike, this one out of all four that we have, this one rocks the most. And the reason I think it does is because the pin kit on this one goes through the axle on either side of it. So it doesn't actually hold the nut on this one. It's a really large nut and so it can't grasp it. So on this one, it goes through both ends of the axle. And there's just a little bit of space between the pin and the axle. So I think it allows a little bit more of the rocking to occur. Now you wanna note that because we actually pull another motorcycle in right here and you don't want the two bikes obviously rocking into each other. You also don't want it so close to the wall that possibly a handlebar is gonna rock into the wall. One thing that we did find, um, we installed this in Minnesota and took it for a 1200 mile drive back here to Colorado. And what happens is that if you start with the handlebars facing forward like this, they actually will twist as you're driving. And on the dirt bikes that have the really big fenders, those fenders can contact the motorcycle next to it. So when you're installing it, think about that. What, uh, what Pitbull said, I, I went ahead and contacted him about it, asked him if they made anything that would keep the handlebars straight. What he said is when you pull them in, before you even start driving, just take your handlebars and turn them to the right to begin with. Once they're in this position, they don't tend to go back forward or want to hop to the other side. It's nothing that I've tried yet. I haven't had the opportunity, but George over at Pitbull hasn't steered me wrong in this entire process. So I'm gonna take his word that, uh, that that's gonna work for me. Now, you guys may be asking, uh, you know, how can you justify spending almost $300 on one of these tie downs? Cause these cost about $290. For us, it was kind of a no brainer. Um, there were so many benefits for our particular application. But one thing that I would note is if you're a person that has that ten dollars or $20,000 Triumph or KTM or BMW, um, it doesn't really uh, make sense for me to tie those down with maybe a $499 strap because I'm a little bit too nervous about that strap maybe not holding or breaking or the bike bouncing around and loosening up or popping off the strap. That's one thing. When we tied all these down and drove out to Minnesota with just regular tie downs, we had one bike that tipped over in the 1200 mile journey and another one that blew its fork seals and consequently had oil all over the floor of the trailer. Um, how we had to tie these down, because of how the tie downs are laid in this trailer from the factory, we couldn't pull the bikes in straight like this we had to pull them in sideways like this. So it was quite the process to try to get four in sideways. And then on top of that, we had six straps tied to each motorcycle, which in total is 24 straps. That was basically a web of straps throughout this whole trailer. I mean, there was no way that you could walk between the motorcycles. It, it was a mess in here. So one thing that I love about these restraints here is that they clean up the trailer completely. You don't have to have any kind of a tie down when you have these. So when we pull in four motorcycles, I can still, I mean, we have them really close together, but I can still kind of squeeze in between the bikes to walk and get to these cabinets and that kind of stuff. Um, 
Also, without the straps, there's no kind of compression on the suspension of the motorcycle. So I already talked about blowing a fork seal, which I took the forks off the bike myself and brought them to the shop to get the seals replaced. That was $130 after I had already taken the forks off. So that was about half the price of just one of these motorcycle tie downs. So if you take that into account of just saving the wear and tear on your fork seals over the years, that kind of justifies the cost for me alone, not even taking into account straps, rubbing on paint on your really nice motorcycles. These ones, uh, not the biggest deal because they're adventure bikes, but you guys with, you know, very nice paint jobs, uh, not something that I'd really want to worry about. Or the motorcycle tipping into the side of the trailer and damaging the walls or into each other and damaging uh, the other bike. Also, with this system, if you were to have a flat tire on the front of the rear, because it's not actually pulling down on the bike at all, you do the same thing. You just wheel it in with the flat tire, secure it down, and you're good to go. There's no reason that a flat tire is going to stop you with, uh, with this particular tie-down system. Now, with this, you do have a lot of different mounting options. You can save money if you're maybe not going to transport all of your bikes at once. And what I mean by that, for example, we've got this... KTM Adventure right here. Well, you can order the kit for the Adventure and the entire restraint system is going to consist of the pin kit, the frame, the latches, and the base plate. So you order that as one system for the $290. Well, let's say that you have this bike, but you're never going to transport the Adventure bike with maybe your dirt bike. They're always going to be separate. Well, if that's the case, you order the system like I just explained, and then you order what's called the pin kit, right here and that's actually the kit that is specific to each motorcycle out there. So I would order a pin kit for my KTM 525 dirt bike and that's $80. I would order the pin kit and I can use everything from the pin kit right here and beyond for that 525 dirt bike. So I just saved myself a huge chunk of money by only ordering a pin kit because I'm not going to be transporting my adventure bike with my dirt bike. So if that's your case, there's definitely a lot of ways to save quite a bit of money. Also, you can order just these base plates completely separate from the entire kit. So with us, we have four base plates here, but we also have two base plates on the flatbed of the pickup. So if we just wanna take the dirt bikes out for the day, we can wheel them onto the flatbed, throw them on the base plate, and we're good to go. It's a 30 second process. Um, the base plates are going to cost you about an additional $34. Now, as you can see, uh, we, in the wintertime, when we put our snowmobiles in here, we take the motorcycles and they go into another trailer. So we can put the base plates into another trailer and store the motorcycles just like this. There's no kind of compression on the suspension or anything, so it's a great way to store them also. Um, now, there are also different mounting options. You can see that we have the frame going behind the wheel of this bike, but you can also take this and mount it into the front of the wheel. So if you had things that were obstructing uh, the plate from being drilled through the floor behind it, you can actually put it in front of it. Now, like myself, I've got a big battery box right here, so I can't drill through this lid, so it had to go behind it. But that is also another option for you. Now, these things um, are made right here in the USA. They're actually made in Alabama. And one thing that you may notice is that if you go to their website and you go to the fit guide, that they may not have your particular motorcycle listed. Not to worry. When I went on there, not all these were listed. And I'd actually looked at this system in the past, but kind of went over it and forgot about it because on their website, they really have a lot of street bikes on the website. And it, it kind of looked like to me, maybe it was geared more for street bikes. And so I kind of discounted it. And what I was needing was one system to tie down dirt bikes and the adventure bikes. I couldn't find anything out there that could do all of it or anything that I felt comfortable with uh, just leaving back here. I've heard of other systems and done some researching on them, and I found people that said that theirs have fallen out of the other systems that are out there. Some use the pegs as tie-down points and that kind of stuff, so it wasn't an option for me. So what I did is I came back to that site, and I was looking at it, and I thought, well, maybe I'll just send them an email and see what they can do for me. And so I did, and George over at Pitbull got a hold of me and said, hey, just send me photos of the bikes and what you're thinking of. 
So I did, and he got right back to me and said, yeah, I don't think that'll be a problem, which it wasn't. All the KTMs, he was able to have pin kits for and just send them out to me. The one bike that was a little bit of an issue was the Yamaha TTR 250. He had never done one of those bikes. So what he had asked me to do was just pull the axle out and ship it to him, just send it to him in the mail, and he would actually build a pin kit around that axle. I sent it out, I think on maybe a Wednesday or a Thursday. It arrived in Alabama on Friday late afternoon. He started on the pin kit on Monday, I believe, and it was done by Tuesday. He had it back in the mail to me by Wednesday. And so this is something that it's not, hey, send this to me and then I'm going to ship it off to China because that's where all this stuff's made. It's not that at all. I mean, this guy has a shop and he's making everything right there in Alabama in-house. Also, these are plated. These aren't painted. There's nothing to chip or anything like that. So these are going to stand up to years and years of abuse. Um, so with the pin kit, if, you know, let's say I sell this motorcycle, well, I can still keep all of this except for the pin kit. If I get something else, order up a different pin kit for $80 and I can still use the entire trailer restraint system. Now, if maybe I get out of motorcycling and I just want to sell it, these things are expensive and there aren't any out there used for sale. These hold their value. So if you ever had to sell it, I think you'd be able to get quite a bit of money back out of it in the future. Um, if you guys do decide to order some of these, which I highly recommend you do, go ahead and give Pitbull a call or you can get on their website at pitbull.com, but let them know that you actually watched the video from us here at Adventure Rig or from Tyson because what they're gonna do is they're actually gonna give you free shipping on the system. So, I mean, their customer service is absolutely second to none. If you call them, they answer the phone right then and there, or if you send them an email, they usually get back to you within 30 minutes. Um, it's just, that's kind of, in my mind, that's what sets companies apart these days is their customer service, and Pitbulls is definitely second to none. So again, just mention that you watched this video. They're gonna give you free shipping. Now, if you wanna see the video of us doing the installation process, again, you can click right over here. And if you would like to see the video on how these actually work, you can click right over here. Thanks a lot for taking the time to watch this video. Hopefully it convinced you guys to go ahead and throw down almost $300 for a set of these because they are awesome. Again, I'm Tyson at Adventure Rig.